Confidence! Confidence! <laughs> to another episode of Confidently Insecure, the podcast where we are absolutely sure we don't know everything. And you motherfucking guys, I am so excited to introduce you to my <laughs> new two best British friends. We just recorded a podcast on their podcast, Fucks Given. Let me introduce you to Florence and Reed from the Fucks Given podcast. You guys, thanks so much for coming hey. on. Uh, I'm I am giving myself so a excited. round of applause. What the fuck? I, uh, it's yes, everyone. Well done, everyone me. clap wherever you are in your car. <laughs> I'm so I was so going to come jazzed. in and, and be like, oh my God, like I'm so <laughs> fucking excited. Oh, I can't do it properly, man. No. The, the, there's too much English that twangs in between. Wait, yeah, that, was, that was an American black. accent. <laughs> yeah, trying to be. <laughs> oh no. Wait, you want to hear my British accent? Yeah. Yeah, please. You want a spot of tea, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that was, that was pretty good. That was, was, that was really good. Don't track me. Hold on. I have to plug my battery in. Hold on. Talk amongst yourself. Introduce yourself. Okay. Oh. <laughs> She disappeared. Uh, oh. oh, oh. So we are Florence okay, Reed back. from Come Curious. <laughs> a YouTube channel. We have a YouTube channel where we talk everything, sex tips, relationships, body positivity, mm. Mm. mental health. Mm. Nudity. There's a lot of nudity. And we're also big on anti-shaming. So mm. we talk about everything that people don't normally want to talk about, mm. like like fetishes and discharge yes. and it, it's it's all about just being completely and utterly honest it, you know even if you make mistakes and discharge we're, we're fetish. all for it yeah oh and discharge <laughs> fe- there is hu- you know like a smegma or like yeah. basically dick cheese huge fetish for that i have heard it all and confidants if you like confidently insecure i guarantee you guys are gonna have fun with these two crazy sluts i just went on their <laughs> podcast and we had oh, such a good so time we talked too long we just talked too yeah, way long. too long we yeah. did beautiful so every moment was was saving yeah i'm gonna try and keep this high and tight you know yeah confidently insecure is like one of my favorite podcasts so this Uh, is like so cool right now that's like the (laughs) nicest thing ever and i told them it it means so much to me because they are infinitely cooler than me like if you're watching this we're gonna do this again are we gonna go like (laughs) oh my god like i'm your biggest fan i'm your biggest fan like we did this on our podcast and we just spent a good 20 minutes just like facing each other fucking each other but listen that's that's what i want my sisterhood to be about tbh i am thrilled that you guys are on i just want to jump right in because we had such a silly insane time on y'all's podcast which i love the format you bring guests on and you talk about your best fuck your worst fuck and the fuck that Mm -hmm. changed you and am i missing one Mm -hmm. The first time and the last time. Oh, last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. So I I opened up a lot over there. I said some shit that I have not said on this podcast. So if you want to go get some (laughs) hot and juicy... So juicy. But details. Say, yeah, you we gotta, got the exclusive. She, we like didn't even have to drug her no. or fuck her or anything. I was like, she desperate. Just gave it to us. I was desperate for an outlet. But listen, <laughs> that fuck thing we will talk about later. Okay, first of all, before we even say anything, I have oh. to admit something. Before mm-hmm. I like wanted to make sure that I was calling you guys British, I was like, wait, I don't think I know the fucking difference between UK great britain and england i just didn't know those were three separate things oh wow am i an idiot i i mean Brit- britain no. is a hard one like we don't really call ourselves british i feel like that's quite an american thing mm. um yeah. but we don't mind because it sounds fancy like i would call myself <laughs> english because in the uk it is made up of several different countries right. which is england scotland yeah. ireland wales um do those and, matter I mean, though even then, I feel like it, London it, it, is like it does. It's like different states. Okay, I would say it's it's as strict yeah. as different states. Yeah, I guess it is like that, isn't it? I, and London <laughs> yeah. is almost like its own country. Yes, like we were talking about this. We have yeah. our own little bubble. Like like Big it's bubble. a bit like LA. Mm-hmm. It's very diverse. We're very like open and and like we're just. I was going to say, we're just better than the rest of the world, yeah. but that's not it. No, it's true. Um, I love it there. We talked about that. We're just a little bit more that. progressive. Yes. Yeah. And I, as mm-hmm. I said on y'all's podcast, the first guy that ever went down on me was from England. And so like, it holds a very special place in my heart. And yeah, your accent imagine. just killed me. I mean, I just, <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. So, okay, before, so now that I've got like my stupidity out, because I felt like I needed the <laughs> listeners to know that you are not alone if you don't know the fucking difference. Google it. The maps oh, yeah. will show you a great explanation. Um, I, I want to do the same with like America. Yeah. And, like I get, I get the, I get can, can 
Canada and American accents mixed up just because I'm so not used to hearing the difference, and oh, that can yeah. be very offensive. Yeah, it's really hard um, to tell and the like difference. different states. The the only thing I know is like you know like North America and South America, mm. and that's about as far as I get. How do you how do you young progressive women in England feel about Trump? Oh Ooh, my fucking, fucking god! Him. I don't know a single <laughs> person that likes Trump. There was one girl no. that was questionable at work who was like, oh. I really want to fuck Trump. <gasps> but I don't know if that was because she was a Trump supporter or she just liked the extreme power of yeah. it. That's gotta like, be it. I mean, wow. I mean, who didn't want to fuck Obama? Like he is just like motherfucking yeah. Mac Daddy G, yeah. the hottest yeah. you respect prime that. minister we've mm. ever seen. Pres- that president, marriage, president, yeah. fucking president. <laughs> well, see, Jesus I didn't even know Christ. what to call y'all's thing. I don't fucking prime know, you minister. got a queen, but then yeah. you also have a Boris Johnson guy and you yeah. Also, oh, yeah. like all of Ma- that the shit mayor? is confusing. Wait, wait, is he the? He was the mayor of London, but then he turned into the prime minister. Mm-hmm. But oh, then yeah. you had the well, queen. Boris was, yeah, yeah, Boris. Yeah, the, the queen, queen is, is like just another entity. Kind of, yeah, she's. They don't really make a lot of um, uh, decisions. changes right. or political decisions. <laughs> they're just they're there very to look much at. just like a. Yeah, they're there to look pretty, and they do a hell of a lot for charity. I used to fucking mm. hate ro- the royalty because mm. my the way that my mum brought me up and mm. be like, oh, they're just cunts like uh. sitting on a mound of money, um, which is not not fair <laughs> me, at all. Because I wish. They, do, <laughs> they do so much for charity and so mm. much for tourism, and lots mm. of people love them. Oh, yeah. um, that's a good point. And the royal family, like you know, they're them. fun. Yeah. yeah. How, how do you feel fun. about Meghan Markle? Oh, we love, oh, her. love, I love oh, that yeah. story. Yeah, she's so. Great. Yeah. You're okay that we brought what's his name over here. You're okay there with that. What, what's what's yeah? His I name? don't really know the latest <laughs> news to be fair. I know that they've kind of left the royal family. Yeah, they, they like went to yeah. Canada. Yeah. They're like shunned. They're like fuck this shit. We're not yeah. gonna get this. But I think they're in LA anymore. now, full time. Like I think Meghan Markle oh, is really? back at her. They bought a house here. I think. Oh, that's, that's so adorable. cute. Okay, so I mean, that's chill. We're all chill about yeah. that. Oh my yeah. god, so yeah. True. Like the more like crossbreeding we do, the better life can be because it's just like sharing information, sharing good. Like I love that. I think we should. Just be okay. all one one united country, you know. Oh yeah, my god, that let's sounded take like London fucking and LA. Trump. You, you did sound like Trump. Yeah, then. it sounded like Trump. That wasn't that wasn't the intention. <laughs> one Listen. united country. Ew. Okay. But we're just one united country, uh, and I just oh I just fucking love cheese whiz and my fucking hair. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, you lost it. You lost it. You went it, it full went. British there. Um, yeah. Okay, so now that we've got like the geography and politics out of the way, I want to get <laughs> into the sex stuff obviously um, Ooh, yes. no first, way uh, first of all i know can you imagine how did you two become <laughs> friends oh this well, is, this is actually is quite an interesting story, story. <laughs> yeah oh do um, tell we we met each other at a club and just felt instantly in love um no. No. we we actually met each other on a porn set we were ah. both in the porn industry <laughs> filming porn mm. Um, and it was actually kind of fucked up because the porn that we were working on was like not stuff that we agree mm. with or mm. think is should be out now. Uh, we're very no. much into like real ethical porn. Totally. Um, and we are porn directors. We have our own porn series, which is quite nice yes, and educational. Yep. But um, I, I live I, I lived in London. I just moved out of my mama's house and needed a, a yeah. roommate. And mm. Florence lived in Brighton. Is also another like another mini London. Like Brighton is such yeah. a cool place to be. Brighton's the gay huge capital LGBT. of the UK. Yeah, huh. yeah, huge it's like LGBT. Your West LGBT. Mm. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then Florence needed a place to live because she was working in London, and it it just kind of transpired. Worked out. Yeah. I know. And then we just started living together. And then, yeah. like, all we did was talk about sex. And you're like, all, like we should record we this. Yeah, exactly. Now, do people <laughs> always ask you if you guys fuck? Oh my god! Yeah, like yeah. Uh, uh, all the time. Are you are you are you girlfriend? Are you lesbians? Um, but I think it's not they're asking for the reality. I think they they're trying to relive this fantasy that we, that mm-hmm. we shag and we fuck. And you know we see each other like sisters. Yeah, it's like we have been in sexual situations before, like when we went to um, hedonism in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. it's. It, you know, there's that whole cross barrier of like you're, you're feeling like your best mate is like yeah. having sex, but sorry, Lawrence has her okay. finger there's, raised. There's, there's a delivery guy at the door, and I need oh, to answer it. Oh, go, okay. My housemates go, go get it. Oh, what do we think it is? It. Oh, yeah, what's is this like she the is, she start of a porn episode? Like, oh, she's on delivery it. guy. She, she did answer oh, it. That's, I love doing that when I'm webcamming and I'm in like sexy lingerie and I've got like a robe on, and I'm like, oops, sorry, I. 
purposely leave my cam on so I can go and answer the door so they can hear me have this transaction with the delivery guy. I mean, it's not as much fun at the moment because Corona, like they don't even wait around. They leave the parcel outside and they fucking run. Do you think you're getting more business? Are you getting more business because of Corona? On Um, the cam side? I definitely oh, think yeah. that there's been a spike recently. Mm. Uh, when I first started, I was like, oh my God, everyone's going to be at home and like wanking furiously because they're so <laughs> bored. And it was dead. And I oh. feel like that was because there was a lot of unsurety with jobs and right. money and mm-hmm. furlough. Totally. But now people are more settled in. We're sort of like, mm-hmm. what, on the seventh week now of, of lockdown. Right. God, um, and people are like, you know what, fuck it. If this is the way it's going to be, I may as well enjoy myself. So yeah, there has been a bit more of a spike in yeah, um, yeah in business. Yeah. Mm. And how would you say your uh, opinions differ? Because having two female hosts as a podcast is so fucking rare. And having the kind of content you guys talk about, like we've talked about before, y'all don't get ads. Y'all got ripped from the YouTube monetization shit. Like Uh, you guys are doing the Lord's work as we know. And (laughs) I mean, (laughs) we'll get into a a little bit. Yeah, praise me. Uh, We'll get into (laughs) a little bit uh, about how like sex culture is different between the UK and America or England and America. Uh, but like, how do you guys balance the opinions? It's a it's a good question. Like, I think Florence and I have a really good dynamic that we yeah. sort of um, because we're we're both two different people and we, and we both have different opinions about a lot of mm. stuff, which works because like if you just had potentially me who's like maybe a little bit more outrageous, a lot of people it's fine. It's hard to relate. Um, yeah. And then we've I'm got the more, like, like more people relatable. Ah. <laughs> every especially, people's. Because, <laughs> especially because you know like you've just gone through like a long relationship you are mm. single at the moment and you're going through those waves and a lot of people mm. are doing that like not many people are in a non-monogamous six and a half year relationship yeah who goes to sex parties yeah, yeah. we did talk about that on y'all's podcast but you Florence uh, you're yeah. you're five months into a breakup off of four and a half fucking years. First of all, yeah. congratulations. She's thriving. We love to see it. Her skin is glowing. If you're not watching on yes. YouTube.com slash Kelsey Dara, here she Cinderella is. Glow. How has it been <laughs> like in quarantine dating? Cause I'm seeing the wildest, most creative fucking shit I've ever seen for people who are like trying to get laid. First of all, it's usually the men that on <laughs> Tinder yeah. are like still down to fuck during quarantine. I'm like, what is wrong with you? This is why men die sooner than women. But how has it been for you, uh, yeah. do you think? Um, well, I've, I've been like, I've started like virtually dating. And at the beginning, I was still like ju- sort of just kind of like seeing someone. Um, but the whole quarantine situation kind of made our whole thing die out Mm -hmm. because it kind of got to that point where I was just like I don't even like feel the urge to go and see you Mm. yeah it's Um, it's like no power yeah and there was like I Mm -hmm. we did like do phone sex like a couple of times which was hot like not it wasn't visual with him it was like we'd have like each other on the phone next to us and we'd just be like both masturbating it. and it was that's it hot. was it was it was really mm-hmm. hot actually it was a really good like masturbation session mm. but like i never really felt like the massive like urge or yeah. pull to like mm-hmm. go and do that really regularly with him so that kind of fizzled mm. out in yeah, a way i think that that's mm. like it may have happened if it wasn't quarantine but i think because it is now is the time that people can either really recognize and refresh that self-love or take a fucking break i mean have you ever taken a break from not coming and then like fucking jerk it out like seven days later you're like oh shit i fucking miss this like (laughs) i forgot that this was i've done it before when i've like taken a break and then i've gone back to it like oh yeah and then i'm like wait i'm not coming this this the cum is not coming like i oh my god i left it too long i'm broken i fucked up oh no which obviously is not the case it right. just means that my mind is not mm-hmm. not there it's not such there. a mind thing yeah the break is hard yeah. like having when you're choosing celibacy we know so many people are like i am celibate right now and i'm loving it and i oh. think i think a lot of people do choose like you know we're talking like intermittent celibacy not like like the religious kind of celibacy right of course um where you're just like i'm not gonna fuck i'm not gonna masturbate and i think there maybe has something to do with resetting your mm. sex and your organs mm-hmm. they do recommend it for people who have 
masturbation addictions. There's like, um, mm. you know, it's like 30 days to break a habit, 61 days to make a new habit. Mm. Um, I don't, mm. I, I, I can't, I haven't done that. Um, <laughs> so I, think I can't I went, comment but that's supposed to be the rule I went like yeah. a week during quarantine without masturbating because my, my libido just like went completely down at some point yeah. and I was just like yeah. not even feeling it usually I'm yeah. the sort of person that masturbates like every yeah. time they go to sleep mm-hmm. and like in the morning sometimes yeah. mm-hmm. like I masturbate mm-hmm. a lot usually but something routine. happened something happened during quarantine yeah. that was like it wasn't necessarily it changed from like a need and want and desire for sex to that want and desire for like human touch and like yeah. intimacy mm-hmm. and like connection in other ways yeah. so like the whole masturbation thing just kind of got boring I was just totally. like Ugh. like yeah. is this the only thing I can do like, I don't I like I think that's I'm why like VR VR porn and AI porn I don't think will ever really take off because like you say like if you don't have that human connection you better have a fucking strong imagination or a yeah. great barrier to not get addicted to like a uh, deeper porn because yeah I think what fuels masturbation sometimes is that you're reminding yourself of what that human contact or human connection or, or even self-touch yeah. feels like and if you don't have that in the outside world like we don't right now. I, I just think it's like we need new, we need new material. Yeah, yeah. I think like yeah. It's really constantly. it is really hard. And like what I've what I've learned during this time as well was that like there is no replacement for human intimacy. Ooh. Like as much as like you can go on Facetime dates, mm-hmm. you can like chat to people on the phone every single day like there is no replacement for those desires and mm. those feelings and they mm. c- can kind of drive you crazy if you don't mm. if you don't have if that you get get yeah because even like the most introverted people the mo- the most reclusive people still need a bit of a connection you know even if yeah. that's yeah. going to the supermarket or right. you know Walking shops and just getting some food yeah. and, and like seeing people yeah. face to face yeah. Um, we do sympathize with anybody at the moment who's living on their own and oh having to God. deal with isolation like on their own yeah. that's, that's fucking tough mm. but that's why you put on a podcast and you blast it on your speaker and it makes it sound like you have friends in your house it's yeah. like you're having that a fucking party. That is like, a good idea. Like, party. Yeah. Sex yeah. party. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> speaking of sex party, I want to get into, we did, I totally segue, but that's just like me. Uh, I want to talk about <laughs> how sex is different in the UK or in England. Like, how do we maybe start with sex education? Like, I'll tell you in America, about fifth or sixth grade, you get yeah. separated into a class, boys or girls which is fucked up because now it's like, well, now what are we going to do? The boys learn all about the dick. The girls look all learn all about periods. We don't learn about sex. We don't learn about self pleasure. And then we're like let free. And we never go into the other classroom to like learn about the dick too much. Like it's very specific. Mm -hmm. Like when I was back, um, I'm not sure about grades, but when I definitely remember doing that when I was like maybe nine, 10, 11 years old, mm. we did it exactly that where we both got separated mm. and we both watched separate videos about sex. But like that was, that would be nearly 20 years ago now. Yeah. Like we're nearly 30. So Oof. I really fucking hope that sex ed has changed. And I have heard mm. from different places that it has changed. But ah, yeah, um, I see, I see like the UK as like, like the United States, but completely shrunk because mm. it's not just like we've got different countries, but we've got different cities and towns and dialects. And each of those tiny little towns yeah, has their own differently. way. Yeah, but they treat it differently. Like up like well again we've got religious more religious areas that Mm -hmm. don't teach and um we've got like a huge jewish community Mm -hmm. in london um especially because we we don't know how they teach their kids or whether or not it's like it's we hope that what it is now is that it is more open and more communicative and both like all it's not even just about like boys and girls watching the same Mm -hmm. video it's like talking about conversation yeah, you can be a boy and a girl and also any gender and uh-huh. any sexuality and uh-huh. it just depends on the fucking school we didn't and what even they talk kind of about go. that shit like we didn't talk yeah. about sexual no. identity in school like what even gay was we just heard it was no. like a fucking sl- slur term that we used for a long time yeah. like oh that's fucking gay like we that's never great. yeah i was like i don't know what it means but he's saying it so i should say it because i like him <laughs> 
and I would <laughs> just like, still say gay. I'm yeah. still, oh, you fucking gay lord. And I'm like, oops, yeah, that's my teenage yeah, self. Yeah, and like oh. if I'm saying it around my <laughs> queer friends, it's different. Like we definitely mm, have yeah. a different language that we feel super comfortable uh, learning yeah, they, with each other. I mean, we didn't get taught about like pleasure. We didn't mm. get taught about sexuality, mm. nothing about consent. Like we got Oof. taught about condoms. We got taught mm. about STIs. Did you do the about, banana about thing? Pregnancy. Did you we, guys we actually have, have I'm, we actually I have penises like fake fake penises smart um, I don't, like I don't know if they my school did it or not they didn't look like penises they looked like <laughs> it was like it was like a banana <laughs> rod but made out of plastic it there was huh. no re- shape or replica to a penis because I think that was too much for them to handle but like I, I'm glad that we had that that was good because it was teaching I was in an all girls school so I think that oh, does change fuck. sex ed so we yeah. did learn a lot about boy stuff as well as girls but if it was an all boys school I doubt they were teaching them about periods pregnancy no. apart from like if you spaff in a woman you will get her pregnant <laughs> by the way spaff means coming I learned that yeah. on their podcast like this is what <laughs> I didn't like want to make this such like a UK versus America episode but I kind of did because I was like it's so lovely every time i go to london like the dating culture and like the bar culture and the clubbing culture is just so different like yeah. as much as we are the same oh yeah i think so yeah. like I, for yeah. instance like do you guys what is the what is the age at which is when people start becoming sexually active like i know that that varies all around the country but i would say because really our varies. age of consent is 18 and your guys is yeah. 16 oh, i wonder if things yeah start different yeah i think people start becoming sexually active on average around the age of 15 Mm. i thought 17 oh wow really that older yeah um but then Mm, again like you lost yours at 15 (laughs) and i lost mine at at 17 but in my in my girls school like i was hearing girls losing their virginity at the age of 13 yeah yeah that's Um, see that's why i said 15 as an average because i was like there was so many people having sex when they were 13 Oh. Yeah, I almost want to look this up, but like, does Google even know the answer to this? Probably not, because I think it's also regional, nah. right? Like we talked about religion and shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. And is it okay to even say these things? Like, is it mm-hmm. okay to say that there are people having sex at the age of thirteen when it's yeah. only legal when it's fi- which is yeah. which is bullshit? Because if yep. people are having sex at that age, we need to fucking talk about it. Yeah, Just because yes. the law states otherwise, like, it doesn't mm-hmm. mean to say that it's okay. It just means mm-hmm. that we need to talk about it. Exactly. exactly. It's been proven that abstinence is not a sustainable form of sex education and the woman who's running our fucking school government shit is all fucked up. She's a conservative like housewife. I can't even talk about <laughs> it. But how do <gasps> you got oh, what? I've looked it up, guys. You're going to be shocked. What? It's the what? average age that people in the UK lose their virginity is 18.3 years old. Wow. 18. That's older. 18. Yeah. Okay, now wow. I got to do Now I got to do America. What a What did you type in? What is the average said- age people wait, wait, it's got it's got lose. a chart here of all of all like the countries. I'm going to see if I can see your chart. Oh. This that is says, so bizarre. But this is oh. what this is what makes me think that people lie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These are not trustworthy polls. Uh, yeah, this says so. it's USA's... seventeen point one for male and you, women. Yeah. And women. Okay. Mean age for first sex years. And USA says eighteen point four as well. Uh hmm. so you've like, got different all of stats. these mean ages are literally range from brazil at 17.3 to malaysia at 23.7 wow but like, people are having it way fucking younger than that is yeah, it because they don't, don't want to admit this. to people doing it now this yeah. is like the who, who did the polls who did <laughs> yeah. the polls yes. people are just saying what they want them to hear probably catholics yeah. actually so. yeah catholics. exactly this is the people that are like you need to wait until you're mm-hmm. older to have sex yeah. look this is the average mm-hmm. yeah. you must wait till you're married <laughs> and you can get married at the yeah. age of 16 but so think you about must like if you're a young girl and you google it and that pops up and you're like oh fuck i yeah. like am not the yeah, average I'll wait then yeah yeah like i lost my virginity <laughs> at was... 13 now i'm a slut and i'm wrong mm-hmm. and i'm broken because i had sex when the when google told me i shouldn't have <laughs> well i'm glad to hear that our both of our countries are equally as fucked up when it comes to yeah. sex education how yeah, do absolutely. you guys in your circle of friendship and world view americans with sex Oh my god, yes. Love. What do you, what do you <laughs> like, mean? Like, I guess, like, I have a very specific 
image of like what it's like to fuck a British guy. But oh, like, sorry. and like the culture around it. Like, what are the stereotypes, I guess, or like your opinions on Stereo- Americans the, and sex? Because we, we're obviously brought up on American culture with like movies mm. and the yeah. clique thing. I genuinely thought that that's what school was like for you guys, like with actual <laughs> cliques. Like, you have the jocks yeah. and then the weirdos and then the cheerleaders. That is, and that's it true, is though, a isn't bit, it? it is a bit what? true. Oh, like, yeah. like a bit, but like we have that over here where we have like, you know, like kind of like the rude girls and then we've got the goths and mm. then we've got like um i think the, that's the, the everywhere geeks, right for example yeah because it's all you know, based on like game. school curriculum too i mean yeah. like yeah. with americans and sex i have this, built this huge amazing fantasy in my oh. mind because i have like basically have a fetish for oh, americans yes we like, got it out of her i was wondering if you're gonna say like, cowboys and like that's hot what about that is hot <laughs> yeah, to you? Yeah, cowboys, yeah. Mm. A cowboy. I don't know. I think it's like the fact that they're like, they're quite like silent but dominant and like mm. sexy with the cowboy hat and like <laughs> they've got like a leather belt that they can like take off and like. Okay, can uh, I tell you what we think? Let's see you like a horse. Train you, train you, <laughs> bitch. I think we think of uh, uh, British men as the suit and like the Hugh mm. Jackmans, yeah, or is that right? Like really Hugh posh. Jackman. Is that the yeah, one thinking? Hugh of? Jackman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you, oh, you're thinking of Hugh Grant, right? Yes, oh, Hugh Grant. Oh, actually, Hugh, yeah. Grant. Hugh Grant. Like very I mean, put together, very polite. <laughs> yeah. Like takes care of you, goes down on you first. Like I think of that, mm. or like fucking selfie, like tattoo, like <laughs> cigarette, like fucking like this one is, and done. This is England. Like fucking yeah. self tanner. I mean, that's oh, so you're thinking of that like more like a towel. Jordy Shore, yeah, Jordy, oh. Jordy Shore. Like, so I think of I think of England as like <laughs> Londoners. Like, I like I like my rude like uh, you know grime like rap. I like mm. oh god when they're wearing mm. the caps and like low baggy trousers. Oh, back in the day, ah, mm. yeah, and I think I Americans some- too. Like, w- I think the UK has a lot more casual sex. I think I don't it's, know. Y- you it know seems what? More it's casual. really hard to tell because, like, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's circles, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. I would say, like, de- like, most of our friends are like having casual sex. Well, yes. that's the that's For the age sure. group I'm most interested in because I yeah. fucking love y'all city and your country, and like, I I think we also we've heard a lot of bad press out of that side of the country just with like Brexit and the shit that was happening in Ireland and like. You know, we talked about London being this kind of bubble, but do you feel Mm. like, you know, I always say on this podcast that I absolutely think the generation behind us is going to be the game changers of everything taboo, environmentalism. Like, do you guys feel like you have those soldiers coming your way or do you still feel like? (sighs) Yeah, especially especially at the moment. I think I think things are changing and it's almost like looking at my parents and how Mm. they used to think and seeing that they're slowly changing. Mm. I feel like we are the generation that is changing things for the better, that is more Mm. conscious, not just about Mm. ourselves, about the environment, about our world, about like underdeveloped countries, Mm. about fucking like period poverty. And I I really think that's to do with the internet and just Mm. how accessible Mm -hmm. information is and how shocked we are when we find out all this shit that that nobody ever taught us at school. We'd learn about fucking like Tudors and like dumb <laughs> history, like the pr- the plague that never fucking helped us. Although to yeah. be fair, we should have listened to the plague history, yeah. man. Like that shit's come <laughs> back. Like- <laughs> no, every history repeats itself, baby. Yeah. Mm. Um, I mean, so, yeah. There's, I mean, there's so many amazing twin, like young twenty somethings, like activists in London. It's yeah. incredible. Um, there are so like, and they're also like quite like big on social media. So they've mm-hmm. really got like this platform to be able to express themselves. Mm. And is it a problem? Like, is social media addiction a problem for you guys? Absolutely. Yeah. One hundred percent. It's yes. a huge problem yes. here. Okay, um, good. Especially for better. young, I think <laughs> I'd say especially right? for young women who look up to everybody mm. on Instagram and social media and think that like the, mm. the you know that moment where they're taking a photo in that perfect moment is like their reality and that's right. normal and it's the same with porn. We're, yeah. Like the amount I I feel I would be so fucked up if I was a kid with a phone looking at Instagram. Like oh it fucks God. me up even now yeah. looking I at it. Imagine. And I'm thirty fucking years old. Like yeah. I, I I've had that Instagram addiction where yeah. I'm waking up in the middle yet, of the Reed. night I do it too I, I'm 29 but I say I'm 30 I'm like I'm yeah, 30 I mean, years old cooler. 
Yeah, I can't wait to be 30. <laughs> I cannot fucking I... wait. Well, how old I, are you, I'm Florence? kind of scared. I'm I'm 29 next month. <gasps> ah, yeah. Happy birthday. Thank happy you. Birthday, okay. We were supposed so, to be coming to LA, but oh, yes, my my birthday. You guys, but like we're going to put this out in the universe that we're going to cross over our paths again, whether they're in yes. LA or we're in London because you yes. guys know that the show got canceled. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, <laughs> so I have two questions before we get to some games, okay? Mm-hmm. Ooh. So question number one is like, we three women are very lucky and privileged to be able to talk this way and so openly and so confidently. Yeah. But I wonder, like, why? Why are we this way? What informed us to be because I think like the the note I get the most like from DMs is is from women that are just like I love how confident you are I love how like powerful mm-hmm. you speak about sex and it's it feels rare to have three women right yeah. here talking about this and being so open and talking about it like we're talking about the weather but I do wonder like why and how and where did you guys kind of become so sexually open and talking about sex because Reed you even said that you didn't lose your virginity till you were 17 and I think people yeah. think that like no we you must have lost it you know you must have been a slut forever like yeah at least well, that's I was, how I feel I was about myself a slut, an attention seeker <laughs> but like my mom my parents did a real good fucking job in that mm. my mom was never like don't do this don't do that she gave me the tools to be like to, to make my own decisions it was mm. your virginity is yours and you can lose it at any age as long as you feel ready and that was mm. like oh fuck like I I'm not trying to go against my mom. Like, mm. you must wait until you're 18 yeah. years old. And then, like, mm. I go and fuck someone at a house party. It was very much yeah. like my own choice. Um, yeah, my parents awesome. are quite quite liberal, like, very open. They talked about everything. They, they yeah. talked easily about sex. But it's not just the parents. It's not just, like, nature versus nurture. Right. It's, like, it's like your your community, your your friendship group growing up, The what you're taught by your school, like, by authority mm. figures. Um, and, you know, like, you can even if you're like the opposite like you can rebel against it but then there's also I think a lot of it is like it's deep-seated like I'm sure we were the girls at school that were looked at as the sluts or the attention seekers that always had sex on the brain um mm. not to say that every sex advocate out there was that person mm-hmm. but I think that like there's just constant interest I've always been mm. interested in sex and wanted to learn more Mm. yeah Mm. I was constantly horny as a kid like I was just (laughs) always just I was so interested in it and like interested in all these feelings and these Mm -hmm. like pleasure and I was also obsessed with boys I was Uh, like I was one of those girls who was just obsessing over all the boys in the class Mm. and like there would always be like someone on the go making out in their bed and my bed and <laughs> I would, it was just always like a massive interest but I think like I think growing up in Brighton definitely mm, yeah. was um one of the reasons that I was able to be so open about it because mm. Brighton is like probably one of the most woke places in the UK because it um, is yeah. our gay capital oh it's, right 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 it's a lot more like sexuality and sex forward yeah. than a lot of places mm. are and and my friend my friend group as well like what reed was saying is that like i remember being in my maths class and my friends i think we were all it must have been when we were 15 and my friends were talking about like all the different condoms they've mm. been using and like how all they like they that, like, how they felt and like it was just always this open conversation and yeah. to be fair I hadn't had sex at that time and I was so jealous that I uh, lied to them and said that I had been having sex me with my too. current boyfriend yeah. I lied Did about you? I lied about losing my virginity so hard and like yeah. oh, fuck. I, I was not necessarily seen as like a slut or like that girl I mean not mm-hmm. outwardly yeah, at least like I think to my friends like I said it was always really easy to talk to my friends about it we were just like a very mm. horny bunch of fucking kids and maybe yeah, that so it. horny our parents yeah. like we were just we roamed free like none of us had a curfew none of us had fucking rules like we were just yeah free to roam and and I think I had yeah I actually had curfews weirdly like I used to go out to these like beach parties at the weekend and I like go out there to meet the guys that I fancied (sighs) and like it'd be like oh no it's 10 my mum's picking me up gotta go oh my god so I'd be like fingered on being being fingered on the beach and then be like oh shit it was a nice balance it was a nice balance for you fingered on the beach but then home by 10 (laughs) yeah Yeah. I mean I did I did have a curfew but like yeah uh, never never fuck around with the curfew man no (laughs) Uh, no way 
I, it I was, I was a goody two shoes. Like I was a like I, I was a considered so an I. alternative weird nerd. And nice. I think that that's mm. that's where we prosper is because we are like alternative and we mm. we do stick out rather than blending mm-hmm. into that background. Like I see mm-hmm. so many go- you, know, you, see, you see a group of girls now and they all look like copies of each other. Yeah, and that's not a bad thing. That just means no. it's come from a place of insecurity and they're right. you know they're worried about standing out and being themselves. And right. that's something that when you grow, you you use that as a power. That becomes like your the the thing that makes you who you are the thing that gets you those jobs and gets yeah. you the right people and helps you speak to your speak Being your different. mind like, I'm so glad that I was fucking mm-hmm. weird and bullied and all that kind of shit yeah. like people are dumb you know I don't I don't blame them people are stupid <laughs> like no that's just, such a good point taught, it shapes you and like if it doesn't break you it totally fucking shapes you and yeah. like that yeah. term it does get better like hi- emotions are so fucking heightened in high school everyone thinks it's like the biggest deal it's so it's oh your everything God, it's yeah. your whole world it's because you don't know what the rest of the world is like unless you're lucky yeah. to have traveled or have parents that travel you just you don't fucking know and and man if any confidants are still in that age of life just fucking hold on girl yeah hold the fuck on just wait till you get outside of higher school because that's when yeah. you're that's when shit goes down. Yeah. okay <laughs> so i want to piggyback off of y'all's theme a little bit just so we can Mm -hmm. give the confidants a taste of fucks given where i want to i want both of you to tell me about your best your worst and your life-changing fuck but only using one word for each one Oh my days, that's fucking hard. I know. Ooh. I want I want us to just wonder. I want a little mystery behind it. I want okay. the viewers Ooh. to want to go listen. So who sick. wants to start? I go my my new best one is my word is spiritual. Oh <laughs> that's so good. I love good that. One. I love that. Because it was like this like amazing deep connection that was just like whoa this is like uh, another level it is mm. i get it. it there is other level otherworldly sex totally yeah yeah okay so read what about your best what's your or la- was that last or best for you oh that was best, best right best, most best, best recent you best said. and last actually yeah. Ooh, oh whammy. shit all right um, read one word for your best uh free just be free. Oh, free. Just That's fucking free. beautiful. Ooh. All right, yeah, now let's lovely. let's slide the other way. How about worst? One word. <laughs> oh, that is so hard. <sighs> oh no, it's I was not trying off to think. me. I Mine mean, was I know my rumors. Worst. Mm-hmm. But my worst mm-hmm. is like so funny. So like, um, let's just say shit egg. As one <laughs> word. <laughs> shit egg. Shit egg. Yeah. Shit egg. egg. I just wanted to make sure I heard you correctly. Glad I did. Yeah. Mm, did. I mean, I'm going to... This is an, an interesting or fun oh, word. Stop. It's unconsensual. Oh, no. That, no. That's a good that's word, though. That's, yeah, yeah, that's a, a good, good point to bring up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And how about last? Reed, you said... Or, sorry, Florence, you said spiritual. Was it last wanna... or was it, like, mm. the one that changed the game? I thought you said best. Oh, yeah, sure. So change the game. Go for it. I mean, like, we could just do <laughs> all of them. Like, these one yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> I mean, if I'm going to go for last, it would be, like, standard. Mm. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you need that. Sometimes you yeah, need that standard. It did its I job. Can come up with it did a very word. good job. Yeah? Yeah. For my last one, G-spot orgasm. Wait, that's two oh, or three words. No, that's I'll two. take it. I'll take it. You can I'll say take G-spot. It. That'd be good. G-spot, yeah. okay. G-spot orgasm, yeah. If you just say it in one breath, oh, it's yeah. totally fine. <laughs> yeah. G-spot. All right. Are you guys ready to play a game? Yes. Yeah, always. Okay. Love games. We're going to play Would You Rather, the absolute sex and body edition with fucks given. Okay. Oh, so I'm yes. going to give you a would you, would you rather. rather. Okay. So <laughs> would you rather <laughs> shit yourself every time you come for the rest of your life or <laughs> have to use pickle flavored lube for the rest of your sex life? <laughs> I mean, I'm instantly going to go for the pickle flavored lube. Yeah, really? I think with pickled lube, yeah. I mean, I, I fucking uh, yeah. love pickles. I mean, over here oh. we call them gherkins. What? I just what? don't want to shit. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to shit really during sex. Not like I was to thinking, shit. But like, I was thinking, how good does a good shit feel? Like, good. Yeah, but then the mess. 
that you have to clean up after the... every single well if you're like a multiple comer and like you come mm, I don't know five uh, times and then all hell. of a sudden you don't shit for another week because you've emptied yourself out yeah that's what a good if, point what if you've got a bad stomach that day oh what my god you, t- <laughs> you turn into a shell of a person like that that sketch from scary movie where he comes so hard he's like <laughs> turns into Literally. the mummy yeah, and then like with pickle flavored lube though like you're gonna smell like pickles forever yeah true but you could take it or leave it but, you know um, <laughs> and I do like pickles I do like pickles too yeah, yeah. this was inspired and, also you might smell like shit for the rest of your life if you were shitting every time that's, that's true fucking fantastic yeah. point yeah, yeah what would you prefer I, smelling like this shit was, or yeah uh, this was inspired because yesterday I spilled some apple cider vinegar juice on my pants and it oh my God. fucking it like never <laughs> left me all day I was like what oh. the fuck and it bothered it me evaporates. so it evaporates it like evaporates into your nostrils like we have oh apple cider God. vinegar here too and yeah. although oh. vinegar is a really good um, odor eater so if like you ever have cigarette mm. smoke or animal smell vinegar there you go okay moving on yeah, tips uh, would you rather <laughs> if okay this one's loaded because we talked about masturbating already and taking a break mm-hmm. if you were to get ten thousand dollars USD for every day you didn't masturbate, but then once you do masturbate, you get no more money, or you get guaranteed climax every time you try it. So think about that. As long as you take a break from masturbating, you get $10,000 a day, but then it stops once you masturbate. Wait, as in like you don't come anymore, the money stops? The money stops. Oh, and then in I the mean, other one, the other ones, you can, you orgasm every, every single time, time you masturbate. Every time you try. Every time. Any time you try to climax. So sex, solo sex, uh, whatever. I mean, so this I, is a good I, one. This isn't a bad yeah. one. I, like, I'd I would save definitely, the money. Yeah. <laughs> really? You take the money. And, and wait, no, that is what I would do as well. So yeah, I would, I would take the yeah. money every day. But then my off, question is, how much money would you then make? Because how long could you go? Seriously. If it's ten thousand dollars every day, you couldn't go. I could not master. I could stop masturbating for a year, easy. I think I could go a long time if I was making that much money. Just yeah. Gonna fucking say ten thousand dollars is a lot of money. Like even yeah. even in, yeah. like converted okay. over to shit. How about a pounds, how like. about a hundred dollars a day? Okay, that's different. Huh? Yeah. I feel like then I would go day, like. Though. That is different. I could like maybe two do two weeks. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on a hundred. Yeah, on 100 two pounds weeks, yeah. a day. Wait, yeah. because that's how much is that? That's like oh, I didn't so, think about that's conversions. That's fourteen thousand, one thousand four hundred. How the fuck does that money work? It is yeah, I was gonna uh, say like minimum wage here in the UK is sixty pounds. Maybe it's not gone. that much. No, so I think sixty pounds. I don't know how much that is into dollars. God, I wish it depends. Like, I was a just. So Finance. Yeah. how much I needed the money, you know. Point is, we're money <laughs> hungry yeah. hoes who like to come. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, moving yeah, that on. Is literally. The okay, the this is a hard one. This is a hard one. Since you guys are British, would you rather fuck Daniel Radcliffe or Rupert Grint? <laughs> oh my god, Daniel, Daniel Radcliffe. Radcliffe, hands really? down. Yeah, yeah. Hands I used to have a down. massive crush on him. I mean, yeah, my duvet right? cover used to have Harry Potter on it, and like the be- my pillow had his face, <gasps> and I'd just be like, "Oh my!" You totally Did came I, on top of that pillow, yeah. right? Well, <laughs> what are what are y'all's uh, Hogwarts houses? Slytherin every time. Mm. I like. I'm Ooh, obsessed yeah. with Professor Sh- Snape. I love Draco. Mm. Like I'm all mm. about. Yeah, I believe that. You and also, I also got the, love the hair. Oh like I totally see a Slytherin having that dye job. Absolutely. Yeah, but I like, I like, I like crossbreeding, think- man. Oh, that crossbreed. Mm. <laughs> I'd like to think that I am a. Gryffindor. Everyone, I'm take that probably, <laughs> I'm probably like Ravenclaw. I think you're Ravenclaw. <laughs> you're like very. Ravenclaw. Yeah, Ravenclaw. you've got. You're like mm, task okay, oriented. Take... You're like business lady. I can tell. Yeah, yeah, that's, I'm the business cute. side. Like of I'm curious. That is yeah. so yeah. true. And I'm like, and yeah, I think so this I'm the evil one. Yeah, and I <laughs> think people. <laughs> you are. They want to be a Gryffindor, but I don't think what people realize about Gryffindors is that they're kind of show offs. Like they're kind of like. That's true. Oh, that, that does They're sound like, like me, though. Egotistical. Yeah, right? but Slytherins are also show offs. Yeah, yeah. Massively. I'm a Slytherdor. I'm 50 50. Slytherdor, I love it. Yeah. Also, snakes are my absolute favorite animal of all time. So, like, it just fits. Ah, oh, you're ob- Yeah, you're obviously yeah. a Slytherin. Oh, my God. Mm. I oh, didn't realize. It'd be so fucking evil. Oh, God, the sex would be so good. 
Oh, oh yeah, you know they're they're the kinkiest of the yeah, bunch. Yeah, they're fucked sure. up, man. Or like, Hufflepuff. Things are magic, mm. right? Like or Hufflepuff. I think the Ravenclaws getting... might be having really great sex. <laughs> 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 you guys, this was so fun. I know you guys have to go. I don't want you to because I'm oh, obsessed with both go. of you guys. I don't want to go either. It's so this shit. Is like, I want to stay in chat forever. <laughs> I know this has been such a blast. But the good news is now that we know each other and our audiences can cross over, we can do this again. You guys come to LA. Yes. I'll come to London. But please, please, please tell our confidence where we can find you. Oh my god, I love confidence he's, he's as well. Great. That's so good. It's like, yeah, it's like so French, confidant. like confident. That's mm. what I said. You can't we, say we what have that's the saying. we have the curious fuckers club. Love yeah. that. That's, that's our thing. A little Wait, curious. So you fuckers. can find us on um, YouTube under Come Curious, which is C O M E Curious, mm. and that's the same on Instagram, Twitter, and then we have our obviously our podcast called Fucks mm. Given, which you have to spell F asterisk asterisk uh. K. Yeah, it's given. so annoying because you can never find it with those asterisks nope. in. They're just yeah. so annoying. Um, I mean, the best thing I've had is I had a yeah, podcast the best that was called Adult is... Shit, and we were like, "Why did we do that?" With yeah, the it uh, really, it really uh, fucks yeah. things up. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean. It, we're all like we're not dumb like just google it just like write yeah. in come curious podcast i'm sure it will come up on all yeah, social media yeah. um and you and can follow our us personal on... ones oh snap yeah. oh you were gonna say the same thing it's gonna say the same thing in sync um, well we are in sync you can follow us on our personal instagrams mine's read amber x or kiss or a little bum hole whatever you prefer the x to look like <laughs> um and florence's is florence bark Oh, you guys, this is so great. Coffee Dance, don't forget to go check them out. And we just did an episode on their podcast. It's so fun. Um, and check it out. leave us a review. We love to read them. Don't forget to give this five stars. You can write to us at Confidently and Secure Podcast at gmail.com. We also have merch up on Teespring. We're getting a Tsunami Punani sticker very soon, <gasps> thanks to last That's week's episode. So and you guys all have to send you some stuff. I've got stickers yes. galore. And, oh, um, please. We need some uh, fucking uh, stickers. What are we playing? Yeah, what the, what the fuck? fuck? Come yeah. Curious is like... Anyways. Uh, okay, yeah. thanks, Coffee Dots. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Oh, love Bye. you all. Bye. <laughs>